Yes, Steve, this was part of that comprehensive drug bill the legislature passed as an emergency back in January. According to the bill, the deadline for the Department of Health and Human Services to distribute the money to pay for a 10 bed detox center is today. The administration has yet to even send out a request for proposal to pay for the project. Democratic State Senate Minority Leader Justin Alfond is sounding the alarm. He's accusing the LePage administration of dragging its feet when it comes to drug prevention and treatment efforts. The administration points to the work it is doing on a 200 bed facility in Wyndham, but that's a Department of Corrections facility that has nothing to do with the emergency legislation passed six months ago. Alphonse says the governor's office stopped returning his phone calls, so he decided to go to the press. We've got to be doing something. People are dying. People are overdosing almost every day. Summer is here. We know that's some of the worst time of the year for the drug crisis, and it's time for action. We have millions of dollars that are going toward this effort, uh, but for Alphonse to throw it out there that we're simply doing nothing is not true. A DHHS spokeswoman tells us the department should issue an RFP within a week. We wanted to speak with the governor about this directly today, but his office told us he is no longer speaking to reporters. He did attend a domestic violence press conference today, but he left halfway through it without taking any questions. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.